Good morning everyone. Nice to meet all of you. My name is Trinity Schaefer. Today I'm going to be taking you through a day in the life of a civil engineering student. First I gotta do something with this hair, wash my face, brush my teeth as my normal morning routine, so I will be back in just a second. Alrighty, so now that I've gotten myself cleaned up a little bit, it's time for me to head off to work. I currently work as an intern in a nearby civil engineering firm, and obviously I can't take video in a very quiet office, so instead I'm going to show you some pictures and videos of what my day-to-day -day looks like in that office. Got the outfit, and we are ready to go. Okay, so first, this is what my desk looks like. I have my pictures set up. I've got two monitors, because we're extra fancy. I've got, on this next picture, I've got my plants. I've got my drink. I've got, of course, my coffee cup, because that is just mandatory. And then on this next picture, I also have a picture of when I was working on what's called a tree survey, which means basically that our site had some trees on it. We need to determine if we need to save those trees and relocate them, or just clear them out, make sure that we preserve nature as we should. On this next picture, I am actually on the site, so of course my outfit looks a little different depending on if we're going on a site visit or not. This does happen on occasion for us civil engineers, especially if you choose to work in something that requires a little bit more of involvement with construction. On this next one, you're going to see a big, big tunnel that leads to a big, big pipe. I could stand inside that pipe comfortably. You probably could too, unless you're like super tall. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you a video of what one of my site visits looked like when I was standing on top of a four-story building. This picture is just to give you an idea of how big that building that I was just standing on really is. It's actually called a cooling tank. This entire building is dedicated to cooling the water that has just come out of wells that run plus 100 feet deep. So obviously that water is going to be very, very hot coming out of the ground that far. So this facility is dedicated to cooling it off to make sure that once it does get to your pipes, it is cool enough for you to use for your purposes. Finally, I just wanted to show you this picture that is in my office. It's just a very, very motivating, inspirational, and just all-around cute picture, and I love the quote on it, and I hope you will too. Now that I'm home from work, it's time to head off to Steel Bridge. Steel Bridge is one of the organizations that I'm currently involved in, and we are a competition team that builds about a 20-foot model of a bridge out of steel and takes it to compete. Now, obviously, I can't be videoing while I'm in the middle of welding and grinding metal and all of that good stuff, so I'm just going to show you some videos of what we've done over the course of this year so far so that you can see kind of what we do there. In this first picture, you see us pretty early in the process putting together what we call the deck of the bridge. This is gonna be the side of, if imagine if you were driving on it, this is the side of that surface. It's still in pieces right now, but we were just finishing up welding it. It was a very triumphant moment for us. In this next photo, you're going to see us putting those two decks together and putting what are called lateral supports. These are going to be pieces that run across from one deck to the other. You can kind of see them there, and they are just going to keep it from swaying from side to side, if you will. In this next photo, you see us putting the deck and the truss together. The truss is that system that you see going over it. This is going to help with what we call load transfer, which is basically the weight we put on the bridge. It's going to help that weight be distributed to the legs or the footings, as we call them, and then into the ground. And in this last picture, you see the bridge fully assembled. Very, very proud moment for us, seeing it all come together and stand on its own. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of videos of us grinding and then me welding. So now that I'm home from Bridge, it's time to do some studying. Now, incidentally, I have an exam today in my highway class, so I'm going to go ahead and knock that out next. I'm going to show you a little bit of my study environment, what that looks like, and what it looks like when I sit down to do work. So, of course, I have my laptop. I'm on Blackboard, which is the platform we use for all of our classes. I actually have a nice little list of all my courses here. 
I path to my highway class, which is the class I'm taking that exam for, go to my content page, I can find all the stuff I have to do, and specifically the midterm. So I am allowed to use my notes on this exam, so I got my textbook out here and ready. A little highway engineering and traffic analysis textbook. I have my engineering paper. Now one thing I do want to highlight while I'm here is engineering paper is so, so helpful to us engineers. It's very nice. It's a gridded paper, but the grid is very light, so you can still see your writing. It's a great paper to work with. It actually makes me, it gets me a little bit more into that studying mentality whenever I see my grid paper. It's like, my engineering paper, I know it's go time. Let's get some stuff done. A little bit of what it looks like once I've worked on it. See, I can write. If I need to make graphs, I can definitely do that. Diagrams, etc., so on and so forth. So get yourself some engineering paper. And finally, I did want to mention that outside of my window, I do have the pool, all those friends chilling out. See, my desk is right here by my window. Another thing I want to highlight the importance of is making sure that you know yourself enough to know what's going to be good for your studying. For example, if I were the type of person who was very easily distracted, might not be, want to be right by the window seeing all those people hanging out in the pool. It might distract me. But I am a very social type, so in a way, especially with this pandemic, I feel a little more socialized. You know, I'm not so isolated. It's nice to see some light coming in while I'm studying. So I just know for myself that being by the window is a very good place for me to study. So I would encourage you to kind of take notes about yourself, learn what helps you study and be focused, and then go ahead and set yourself up for success in that manner. Now I'm going to go ahead and knock this exam out, so I will see you all in a few hours. Now another thing to keep in mind is that it's very important to not lose touch with your relationships once you get into college. It's very easy to feel a little bit overwhelmed and to kind of skip that phone call home or do different things that are kind of pulling you away from your relationship as you focus on your career and your success. But it's important to take time for yourself and of course to take times for those you love. So I'll be sending a letter to my boyfriend who is currently in officer candidate school for the Navy and then right after I'm going to be giving my parents a call asking them how their day was just to check up. Hey guys, so now that I'm done with my exam, I've actually come downstairs to hang out with some of my friends in our room where we have pool, ping pong, all kinds of stuff like that. Another thing to mention is that it's very important to take some time for yourself and just have a good time during college. So make sure that you are setting aside that time to socialize, do whatever you need to do to keep yourself in a nice mental state because that is important to your success as much as studying is. Alrighty, y'all, now it is officially time for me to get some sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some insight into what it's like to be a college student studying civil engineering, and I hope it gives you some guidance as to your college experience and some help kind of navigating those waters as you transition into college. I truly hope you enjoy it. Best of luck to you in your career path and in everything you do. Bye-bye.